द रेट ऑफ एनर्जी फ्लो थ्रू ए यूनिट एरिया परपेंडिकुलर टू द डायरेक्शन ऑफ इलेक्ट्रोमैग्नेटिक वेव प्रोपागेशन इज नोन एज पॉइंटिंग फैक्टर इफ डी यू एनर्जी passes through a cross sectional area da in time interval dt then pointing vector s can be written as du upon da into dt that means the unit of pointing vector is joule per second into meter square which can be written as watt per meter square now pointing vector is generally represented as s vector is equal to e vector cross b vector upon mu not we can derive this expression for pointing vector from the basic definition of pointing vector consider a cartesian coordinate system this is our x axis this is our y axis and this is our z axis the electromagnetic wave is propagating along the x axis electric field is oscillating along the y axis and magnetic field is oscillating along the z axis now consider infinitesimally small area da that is perpendicular to the x axis that means this area da is located in yz plane now the electromagnetic wave travels with speed of light c so in dt time interval the energy that crosses this cross sectional area will travel the distance dx that means the energy that crosses the cross sectional area da is the same energy that is located in this infinitesimally small volume element its dimension or its length is dx that is distance traveled by electromagnetic wave in time interval dt so dx is equal to c dt the volume of this element is equal to da into dx we can calculate the energy that is contained inside this volume element this energy we can write as du is equal to u into dv where u is total energy density it is equal to energy density of electric field plus energy density of magnetic field as both electric and magnetic field are present in an electromagnetic wave energy density of electric field can be written as half epsilon not e square and the energy density of magnetic field can be written as b square upon 2 mu not now we play a small trick here 
we can replace 1e with cb in the first term and in the second term we will replace 1b with e by c so the total energy density u becomes half epsilon naught we will put cb in place of 1e so cb into e plus in place of 1b we will put e by c so this becomes 1 upon 2 mu naught c e b now we know that c is c square is equal to 1 upon mu naught epsilon naught or we can write it as epsilon naught c is equal to 1 upon mu naught c so in place of epsilon naught c we can write 1 upon mu naught c so the first term becomes e b upon 2 mu naught c similarly the second term is e b upon 2 mu naught c we can write it as 2 times e b upon 2 mu naught c which becomes e b upon mu naught c we put the value of total energy density in this expression for energy du so du becomes u which is e b upon mu naught c into dv now we put the value of dv which is equal to da into dx dx is nothing but c dt so this becomes e b upon mu naught c da c dt c cancels with this c and this becomes e b upon mu naught into d a into d t if we divide both sides with d a d t then we get d u upon d a d t is equal to e b upon mu naught and we have defined pointing vector s is equal to d u upon d a d t so this term is equal to pointing vector s which is equal to e b upon mu naught now since the electric field and magnetic field are perpendicular to each other in electromagnetic wave so we can write s vector as e vector cross b vector upon mu naught this is equal to e b sin 90 and sin 90 is 1 so we can write e b as e vector cross b vector so pointing vector has the same direction of electromagnetic wave propagation and it is given as e b upon mu naught